and do not try to fake anything in your resume that's most important thing because things can go down uh, like south for you hello everyone and today we have with us mr aman and he is here to share his experience with us so first of all welcome to our channel please an interview and would you tell us something about yourself sure sonia uh, first of all thank you so much for having me in your channel it really means a lot and secondly uh, my name is aman dayal i graduated back in the year 2019 from manipal university jaipur in the field of electronics and communications engineering so in my graduation year itself i was associated with this organization named secure meters which is located in udaipur and i was appointed there as an embedded engineer working there for like 6 months i got myself into an internship role at cadence design system noida so after working there for like 3 to 4 months i got myself into a full time role as a product validation engineer there itself and after working for like one and a half year over there i have taken a step ahead in my career and have landed here at amazon and currently i am working as a devops engineer at amazon so this is a short glimpse of my professional career yeah that's great so would you tell us something about the company you are currently working with Sure. So, uh, look. If we talk about Amazon, Amazon is a household name in today's day, right? Everyone has this application Amazon in their cell phones. But in particular, if we talk about Amazon Web Services, that is AWS, it's a part of Amazon, and is a most comprehensive and widely accepted, you know, cloud platform. So, when I say this cloud platform, what is it? So, any institution, big or small, any organization, whether that be a startup company or a MNC. all of them require some of the other services or structural or infrastructure infrastructural platform or support to execute their day to day activities right so we provide in in this particular case aws provides all of these services to their customers which enables them to um, build their own tools applications or do their activities on these services so uh, let's not go on the helping part like how does it benefit them but i would say these services can be in the form of right tool applications it can be good storage it can be databases security whatever it may be so yeah these services are the main usp for aws so you know aman like how does your days look like like what are the roles and responsibilities that you have to go through on a day to day basis and about something about your job profile specifically sure it's uh, it's still like week 1 for me at amazon and i'm still ramping up on things but to just give an overview as i already mentioned that uh, we work on these services right so our team also own some of these services and our main role responsibility remains to make sure that these services runs indefinitely 24 into 7 so why do i say this because there can be several issues at the servers right you uh, you can have heavy traffic at the server and you can have some network issues you can have um, hardware issues some kind of glitches in the hardware so you have to make sure that your services are stable when it reaches with the customer right for that you need to have some automated solutions on your services so basically we work on those automated solutions which helps our customers to receive a stable service so that's what our major role responsibilities are so as you know the skills are really very important in any profession we talk about so what are the skills that are most specifically needed for your job profile um skill sets for the specific skill sets i would say uh, during our um, bachelor's program we used to have these two subjects uh, computer architecture and operating systems so these subjects are really important for one to understand to come into these domains right other than these i would say uh, your automation scripting skills are really important you should have these skills and along with it the most important thing that i was actually just during my interviews was my troubleshooting debugging skills one should have this because there are so many log files and you know you need to uh, come across so many files to um, find the root cause of an error so it's really important for you to have a good troubleshooting skill other than these uh, other than these technical skills as i would say um, as a soft skill communication skill is really important because you know it's like the kind of crucial time we are in we are just onboarding virtually so you need to really communicate well enough with your team members and the other stakeholders so you should have a good communication communication skill as well so these are the things i believe so for technical skills any resources or platforms that you want to mention yeah for those resources i would say i had preferred um, majorly from my internet like youtube videos so uh, one can visit these nptel channels along with that nesso academy so these two channels really helped me uh, to get onto my basics 
other than these i would say if you have want like for my intermediary python coding skills i had visited a hacker rank in geeks for geeks so these are some basic channels and basic uh, links that one can visit other than these for my automation skills i did not like took any particular uh, help or something because that came to me from my previous organization as well because over there i was totally into scripting so yeah these are the basic resources that i had used for myself okay so lastly any advices that you want to give us to our future aspirants who wants to join the same role as yours uh for future aspirants i would suggest as in on the uh, i'd say first of all get in contact with one of the aws guys that would be really helpful for you because on a personal context you'd be able to help you secondly on the resume part i would say that like, i've seen people with 3 to 4 pages long resumes in these domains so it's not really required uh, focus more on the quality part than the quantity and do not try to fake anything in your resume that's most important thing because things can go down uh, like south for you during the interviews and you don't really want that right so you should not do that and uh, that's on the resume part during the interviews i would suggest that try to make a conversation with the interviewer try to initiate a discussion with them don't just uh, you know press the panic button too early uh, be there be calm be like be patient and try to hear out the interviewer and then with a proper you know sense try to answer it out don't be in a hurry to just answer it too quickly and i think these things will really help one to get into these rules so thank you so much for joining with us today it was amazing talking to you and of course it will be helpful for the ones who will be watching this video gosh a pleasure is all mine thank you